Uh, Sorry. I'm trying to keep the I, debate to a minimum here. Yeah. So, uh, If you guys would all like to pile on, that would be fine. But you're obviously not going to move on to the next agenda item without... Uh, I, I don't. I think there... I th uh, Victoria, like I'm... The I'm go no, uh, but I'm going to recognize you if you want to speak. But I don't think anybody wants to pile on or that we have any further comment on that. Okay. There were individual um, opinions are being expressed here. But are there any... Victoria, do you... Don't need a card. I was like, I'd be happy to stand over there. And... No, you don't need to. Um, so first, I think first and foremost, I think what's so important is that we all are able to disagree without being disagreeable. And, you know, that was kind of something I learned my first year out of college and my first job when people told me training on how to behave in a you know, corporate entity. So, um, and Sandy knows my last name is Losey, so... <laughs> I don't know if not right, I'll do my last, last name right. That's, that's probably a Bronx thing. So um, I really have tried not to, to go into the, into the next door stuff. And, you know, um, my expectation was on the, at the PVRRG meeting, I was invited to speak. And I assumed that there would be yes speakers and there would be an exchange of ideas. You guys all, you've known me. I am all for an exchange of ideas. Um, I have been, I don't know why the, um, you know, where have you been just coming from? I have spoken with you, 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 and you individually over the last year about my position on this parcel text. This was not a surprise. I made sure you guys, you have all known my position on this. I have asked for the police feasibility study, for, or the sheriff feasibility study for a year. I was stunned when you, when ad hoc committee, Davidson and King, were in charge of the parcel tax consultant or, you know, the political consultant, Tramatola, and, and the three of them were shocked when I said I wanted to speak to the consultant, and they all said, oh, it never occurred to me to have the treasurer speak with the consultant. Um, as that process continued, I organized a conference call with Councilmember King, Davidson, city manager, and Larry Tramatola saying, I really think you're going down the wrong path on this thing. I am a non-voting member. I can say what I think, and um, Mr. Davidson's right. The mayor can decide. The mayor decides to get the feasibility study. The mayor and the ad hoc committee decided how to structure this parcel tax. I've been clear. I didn't surprise anybody, and you know that. I've spoken directly with you and with you. And um, so, I'm sorry. I, you know, I hope you didn't feel blindsided. I, I stated my position. I never, I, frankly, you're right. Nobody cares if I'm voting yes or no. I assume nobody cared. Um, I really thought that was going to be a two way, uh, a two way thing. I think um, I tried to be balanced. At no point did I say we don't need a parcel tax, and at no point did I say I don't support the police. I think most of our residents do want the police. I think this approach is wrong. It, 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 I didn't like how it was structured. I think we need to go back, get it right, because the next shot at a parcel tax is going to have to pass. And so um, we need to look at everything. We need to look at the structure, our current structure. We need to look at what, what would it look like to outsource sheriff or anything else, and then lay that out and figure out what we're going to do. And I've been clear on that all year. And so I think it's been unfair to say that I haven't been. Um, so anyway, let's for another 24 hours or 36 or whatever it is, agree to, um, to disagree without being disagreeable. And whatever happens on by Wednesday, we're going to, we'll know, and we'll know how to proceed. Good. And that's it. Sure.